Hi all, welcome back to the channel and I hope you're all doing okay. Um, yeah, I've been trying to make some sense of this silly season stuff here, but obviously it happens every year. Drivers, you know, being linked to different teams and stuff like that, but uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on, but um, I'm trying, I am trying to make some sense of it and as I do, I'll update you more and more. Um, but at the moment, we've got the former Ferrari driver, Gerhard Berger, has called out top bosses days after Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz clashed at Silverstone. Berger has now pointed the blame at Ferrari bosses, as he claims Chief fired the wrong people in the wake of their failed title bid last season. Matteo Bonotto was dropped at the end of the 2022 season with Fred Vasseur, taken his place. However, Berger has stressed this was a massive mistake uh, for Ferrari who should have stuck by Binotto for another campaign. He said they lost their nerve and knocked out the wrong people. <sighs> um, I know Ferrari have already said that they've got issues. They think they've got issues being able to poach other staff from other teams because not a lot of people want to move themselves, their family, their children you know, from wherever they're located, which, you know, seven out of the ten teams are, are, are in the UK, and move them over to Italy permanently. So they reckon they're at a, a disadvantage for that alone. But besides that, you may remember also that Fred Vasseur had publicly been critical of Leclerc when he said, Charles, on the other hand, is capable of doing magic in qualifying, of going further, but he sometimes goes beyond the limit, always seeking the maximum, even when the car cannot give it. He always wants to win, so he can make mistakes like at the beginning of the season. We talked about it together. But for Sir, may be forced to extend Leclerc's deal sooner rather than later, with two top teams sniffing around. According to Formula One Uno, Red Bull has approached Leclerc and Lando Norris over a possible move earlier this season. Leclerc was also linked with a move uh, to Mercedes, but denied he had talks with Toto Wolff. So then, Charles Leclerc has hit back, and um, he has since blamed Ferrari bosses for his on-track struggles, after Team Boss Vasseur raised his concern, saying Leclerc had gone beyond, beyond the limit and made mistakes behind the wheel. Leclerc told The Guardian, My mentality has always been to push at the maximum and not leave anything on the table. When you have a trickier car to drive, as is the case for uh, the first part of this season, mistakes happen. I know this, whenever there is something missing, I am trying to find something that is not there. I will always try to push the limit. <sighs> so, if you can make any sense of this, obviously, you know, they've, Red Bull have now apparently had a chat with uh, Charles Leclerc, not only Lando Norris, as I just mentioned. Where they can accommodate those two within the team, I don't know. But then again, there were reports that Max may do uh, Nico Rosberg. That's what they likened it to, but I mean, Rosberg only won one title before he retired. Max may, I mean, he's pretty much got this year sewn up. He may retire after three, who's to say? I mean, he wants to go on and do different things, and he's already said this. But where that would accommodate Leclerc and Lando, I don't know whether it would be a mistake for Lando to, to move from McLaren right now after, I mean, you know, they've got the rest of the season maybe to see how competitive that McLaren is now, which, you know, last time I was, was looking pretty good. Um, so I, I, I'd love to get your thoughts on this, this whole silly season thing, because honestly, it, it, it's, it's crazy out there, really, really crazy. Anyway, if you do like what I do, please like and subscribe and press the notification bell so you get warnings of my future uploads, which I'm sure you're all really excited about. Anyway, until the next time, take care everybody.